Hi everyone. In this video, I want to discuss a crucial topic, statistical significance in trading. I decided to create this video because I have noticed that some individuals in the trading community, including self-proclaimed gurus, lack a fundamental understanding of algo trading. It's disheartening to see misleading information being spread and people paying for it. For instance, there is a particular individual on YouTube who is selling a course for £1,700 and advising people that they can evaluate the effectiveness of their mechanical trading systems with only 50 test trades. This claim is fundamentally flawed and misleading in numerous ways. So let's delve into the fundamental principles of basic science, beginning with terms like normal distribution and standard deviation. On Wikipedia, we can find a comprehensive explanation of the 68-95-99 rule, which states that in empirical sciences, the three sigma rule of thumb, or threes rule, suggests that almost all values fall within three standard deviations of the mean. Consequently, it is empirically practical to consider a 99.7% probability as approaching certainty. But what does this actually mean? The normal distribution is a histogram plot that represents a random process, such as white noise. Within this distribution, we can define a standard deviation that encompasses approximately 68% of all samples or values. This area, which covers one standard deviation, is commonly referred to as one sigma. In scientific fields like astrophysics, it is customary to consider values lying outside the three sigma area as strong signals. These values are deemed unlikely to occur solely by chance, indicating potential significant findings. The distance between the signal and the mean value is referred to as the z-score. A higher z-score provides us with more confidence that our signal is not simply a result of chance. The z-score quantifies the number of standard deviations the signal is away from the mean, thereby indicating the significance of the observed deviation. In algo trading, we can utilize the z-score value to calculate the confidence level of our strategy results. For instance, if a strategy result lies 2.58 sigmas away from the mean, it corresponds to a confidence level of approximately 99%. This implies that there is a minimal likelihood that our result is solely attributed to chance indicating a strong statistical significance. However, in algo trading, it is crucial to determine the number of trades required for our trading results to become statistically significant. To achieve this, let's conduct a trading experiment to uncover the answer. So let's code a simple Python script that simulates 1,000 random trades for 100 random systems, along with our target system that has no winning edge in this case. We will highlight our target system with the lime color and the standard deviation, one sigma, will be indicated by the red color. Now, let's run our simulation multiple times to observe the performance of our target strategy compared to all the other random trading systems. As you can see, the equity line of our target strategy closely resembles that of the random strategies, and the final result consistently falls within the random distribution. This indicates that our system has no winning edge. Now, let's consider our target strategy as profitable with a 55% winning rate. The question arises, after how many trades will we be able to determine if our strategy is genuinely profitable? In other words, how many trades are needed to reach a sufficient confidence level? Let's conduct some tests to find out. The first set of strategy results exhibits a favorable z-score above 3.5, indicating a confidence level of approximately 100%. Upon examining the equity graph, we observe that the line breaks free from the noise at around 500 trades. Let's investigate more examples. This one has a final z-score of 4.2 and a breakpoint of 400 trades. And the next one. This result shows a final z-score of 3.1 at 99.9% .9 confidence, but it took more than 800 trades to escape the noise band. This one is totally buried in noise, and there are even few random strategies that have a better final result. This suggests that even after conducting 1,000 trades, there is still a possibility that our exceptional results could be attributed solely to chance, particularly when luck is not in our favor. The lesson we can learn from this experiment is that the number of trades observed during a backtest is a crucial factor in gaining confidence in our strategy. As the number of trades increases, our confidence in the strategy's effectiveness grows. However, it's important to consider other factors as well, such as the winning rate of the system and the risk-reward ratio. So, a highly profitable strategy will reach a significant confidence level much faster. Nevertheless, as a personal rule of thumb, 
aiming for more than 600 trades during a backtest, provides a level of confirmation that a particular strategy exhibits promising signs of having an edge. This threshold helps to mitigate the influence of random chance and provides a more reliable basis for assessing the strategy's performance. So that's it for now. If you're interested in delving deeper into algo trading, I invite you to download my free ebook from my website. You can find the link below this video. Happy exploring and happy trading, guys. And please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.